All right, we're going. We're going to react to episode six today. But before we do, I have a few special guests, really special. So without further ado, what's up, Michelle and Ruth? Hello. Hi. Yeah, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm excited to have you on. Yes, thank you for having me. My pleasure. My pleasure. Um, I'm excited, especially because I hear that you have a lot in this episode. So I have a lot of questions for you. Yeah, you ready to jump into it? Let's do it. Oh, right. yeah. This is very hard for me to share the Oh, we're getting right into it. Okay. But there is no right time to do this except right now. As a person who is deaf, I am a human just like all of you. And the world do not accept me. They look at me and other that behavior people like we are lots. We are nothing. And it's a very cool world out there. The um the pandemic is horrible. Yes, we have a mask to protect us, but you're forgetting about the communication. You're forgetting about the connection. I can't communicate with anyone. The way I dress you, I'm that. They still talk to me with a mask. Can't you understand? We always have to think ahead to communicate. I use my phone to type the text and show and transfer and sign I write. People do not listen. They don't listen with their mind or heart. They listen with their ears. With my mind, with my heart, I think I come here to the beautiful house. I was scared, but I don't know how you all would treat me out in the real world. If I say I'm dead, if they run away, I'm not dead, I'm dead. Don't be scared. Be open to communicate. I am tired of people who say, I wish I know sign, I wish I want to know sign, I want to communicate. Get away your phone. Take classes. Stop telling us. Like you wish you know, sign a wish, or you want to know. I can see bullshit. My brain is tired when I'm in lips. I can only catch small amount. I mean, not I mean, depends. Some people's lips, they move. Stomach and don't move. Stomach and may have an accent. From another country, it takes me time to process it. Right now, I try. I was very surprised by. Um... I'm going to pause it there because, wow. Thank you. Thank you so much for just speaking your truth. What led to this moment and how did you feel during it? Just tell me anything you can say about this.
Yeah, I remember that day like it was yesterday. I was feeling anxious even just watching it, even though, you know, I know it was worth it, I know it was important, you know, the impact that it had. And the night before, we were all hanging out together, playing around, and, and you know, just, just enjoying each other in, in the hot tub. <laughs> the hot tub. And so that was, you know, what I'm imagining you were trying to catch here. Yeah. So I didn't have Ruth there because I just wanted to be able to connect with the girls, to communicate with them, to learn how to communicate with me. And oh, we're having some technical difficulties. We're having some technical difficulties. I lost you too. Oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shoot. Shucks. Um just come back. Let's see. I think they I think they're back. Okay. I think they're Hello. Yeah, so I I didn't want Ruth there as the interpreter. I just uh yeah, just, you know, while I'm, you know, like, I'm, you're not going to have an interpreter while you're having sex, you know, like, it's not, they're not going to be there all the time. True. And, that's you know, true. I mean, and that's, you know, that just when you think about it, it's, it's real life. I wanted to be able to talk with the girls and with Amber. I wanted them to know what it was like to, like, date somebody who's deaf or deaf lesbian, you know, and just with everything that had happened and the girls kind of just excused me you know they, they I, I couldn't sleep that night i felt left out and i was just crying and it was i felt the disconnect from everybody oh my god so when i woke up i went and i got my coffee i showered i was crying in the shower i was crying so much in the shower and one of the pas had told me like it's time for places and i just broke down i was crying in my bedroom i was you know just naked i had a towel on and i just was sobbing wet and crying and Nicole actually came in and, you know, I wanted to share with her what was going on. And she said, can you share with the whole world? I think they need to hear that. So that's how it happened. You know, I didn't really have a chance to even fix my hair. And so, so it was embarrassing. But, you know, it was something really vulnerable and precious for me. And in that moment, it was... You know, it was showing that like, I wanted to show people that, you know, sometimes I think like maybe I'm not deaf enough in the deaf world and in the hearing world that like I'm too deaf. And so I feel stuck between the both. How do you between them, both worlds and cultures? And, you know, neither of them accept me. Well, that was one thing. And... Yeah, there was there. It was a lot of a big impact. Do you think? I think we're. Um, I think we're good. Yeah. Man, well, I'm so sorry that happened. I'm so. I'm sorry that you were crying and you had a rough morning and you, that night. Did, so, did you feel like you weren't included in the in the activities and people just were disregarding you, sort of? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was anxious about. You know, I, I wanted to chat with the girls, you know, it's like I wanted to chat with Amber, too. And the other girls who, you know, could hear, they, you know, it seems like they would just walk away from me or they, you know, they weren't including me, like, even in, like, food and things. And so I felt left out. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's typical. It's, it's, that's what's happened my whole life. Right. It's it's sad, but it's usually it's your normal. But that's unfortunate. That's like I feel like we should all work a little harder. It's not that difficult to be inclusive and mindful. Um, did things change moving forward after this talk with them?
well, I, f- I felt like something needed to change. I felt like, you know, everybody in the world needs to learn ASL, you know, because yes. we could have access to full communication and, you know, even like job opportunities and everything. So we just need more, more of that in general. And there's no excuse. And yeah, I was, I was very sad about it. And, you know, like if the girls were learning ASL, you know, I know some of them have commented like, oh, I will, I will. And since then, uh, it seems like no one has really done anything except for one of the producers who was learning ASL. That's the only one. And, um, you know, in the entire show. Right, right. Yeah, no, definitely. I think I think we always say we want to do this. We want, we would like to learn, but at the end of the day, it's what are you gonna do, right? Yeah, I was thinking about how I I wish ASL was something that was in the American school system. I, you know, yeah, it's something. It's something that I feel like should be ingrained and taught early, and and you know, no one should be having the struggles that you're having. And I'm very sorry, and I'm definitely part of the problem. Like, uh, you know, I there's absolutely no excuses to be made. It's more just action moving forward. And yeah, sorry. Mm. It was really important for me to have you on so you can be the one to actually speak on this topic. I feel like there's no one else that would do it justice. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Of course. All right. Well, let's jump back into it to the episode. I think we left off where Cat was. Survivor. Cat was I wasn't expecting to meet a woman who had so much heart and was so well spoken and just had such depth. I need human connection. I can't go back that. That's why I have my dog. She's my girl. She helped me love. She's the only thing that I have. And, um, How can we connect with you here? Thank you. Because she... Don't forget, I'm still here. When I'm talking to someone, can I get talking, have a conversation? But I'm having a conversation here. I'm not a person come in and start talking. <laughs> Walk away. Oh, okay, bye. It happens all the time. So that's one thing, just be aware. I had a dream that I want everyone to know what it's like to be dead. And not take life if they are the grand. Maybe we can challenge each other. I am an open book for the most part. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I didn't express my feelings, but I'm learning now with my hands. And you changed my life. You made me look at myself. Damn. I, I realized I was frustrated because I didn't know how to communicate. I need to. Uh, there, we go. there was a little delay, so I had to skip a bit, but. And I really loved Sonny's commentary on what Michelle said, and that really stuck with me as well. So the fact that Michelle was with- What did you think of Sonny's uh, commentary on the topic? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That. Uh, yeah. Sunny is somebody that's just near and dear to my heart. Mm-hmm. Shoot. We're freezing again. Yeah. Go ahead. We're good. Yeah. Okay. Um. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely love her. And. 
we have a deep connection, you know, during the show, especially like we were always laughing together. Whenever the cameras were off, you know, we would just kind of go and we're off and tease each other a little bit and we'd be laughing. And, you know, just like amazing and beautiful connection. Yeah. And Sunny is an cameras, amazing person. Um, yeah, the cameras didn't catch what Sunny had signed to me. She actually had signed, well, but the captions weren't there, so she signed, you make me wet. <laughs> That's no, why didn't. everybody was laughing. Wow. All right. <laughs> Wow, that is a great yeah, that's that's why. Like, I was like, "Oh, don't sign that." <laughs> the cameras were right there. My eyes just fell out of their sockets. I swear. Oh my god! Did you teach her that? <laughs> yes, yes, you did. Because we didn't have phones. Yeah, it was you. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yep. Yep, I did teach her a little bit, uh, you know, some food, you know, for the girls in the dirty signs, um, like pussy, wet, um, you know, just some basic signs, you know. So it's my way of connection, connecting, and Sunny was like an amazing connection from day one. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. Yeah, Sunny's amazing. Going to educate all of the women at the palace. Did you find that the behavior? as a group changed towards Michelle and did it change anything particularly for you? Absolutely. So we as a group kind of realized that we were accidentally walking away from Michelle when she was trying to communicate because we're so used to hearing people speak. And so I think we were just getting distracted because there's 16 of us who are running around all these things. And so someone would say something and we'd turn our head and not realize we were ignoring Michelle who was and that'd be like interrupting you mid-sentence. You said that you were really impressed. Um, or su Sunny's commentary really helped you. Yeah, so I think Sunny, as a black woman, admitting that she didn't really um, understand ableism in the way that she understands racism and connecting them. I understand everything Sunny says because she speaks so calmly and so directly, and I never feel like she has that. She's never on the attack. Yeah. And I have, a, I have a huge crush on Sunny, so anything she says, I'm going to pay extra attention. I feel like all the women have crushes on Sunny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Tell her that. I was just going up my mouth. It's just like... <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause it. I'm going to pause it right there just because we're running out of time. Uh, final thoughts. What are your final thoughts? Some A message that you want to leave with all of us um, after that very impactful scene. You know, I miss all the girls. I would love to see them all. You know, it'd be great to get a reunion going, see each other again. Yes, we need to all get back together. Oh my God. I miss all of you so much. It's been so long. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's been too long. And I am really curious how like we will react to each other how our lives are going, you know, what is more share? Like, cause you know, I had left the house and back into the real world. And now I'm watching myself on this screen. <laughs> yeah. And it's just like, it's a lot of factors involved. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's weird. It's not something you can ever get used to. I feel like I still feel weird. And I was only in three episodes. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, you know, it doesn't matter if you involved in three episodes or what, you know, you can look back at it. And I'm um, like Anna Paulette, too. Both of you were sitting with me while I was eating, you know, during dinner. And everybody else had their own little groups. And it was the two of you. And I'll just never forget that moment. Oh, I'm so happy. I feel like you were one of the first people that I bonded with when I went into the house. So I love you so much. Oh, yeah, I love you, you know, and I still actually talk to Anna Paulette. So yeah? So it's almost every day. 
much. That's awesome. Yeah. I, I haven't spoken to Wonderful. her in a while, unfortunately, but I did meet up with her when we went to when I went to New York. That was amazing. She's awesome. She's like, oh, she's she's amazing. Yeah, I see. Oh, oh, I went to yeah, New York. yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and I also wanted to share uh, something else that with the cameras, they didn't really show um, after my talk that Anna Paulette was really, you know, expressing some beautiful and powerful words and she was crying and, you know, she felt angry at the world of how the world is incredibly ignorant of how to treat deaf and hard of hearing people. Mm -hmm. So she was very, she was a very strong and beautiful soul. And, you know, it's interesting to watch, you know, she's always supportive of me. And so that's how the two of us really connected so strongly. And it is unfortunate that the cameras didn't catch her own emotions and her thoughts. And it was, you know, she'll just forever live in my heart. And you know, she expressed some things herself and shared some things herself that I believe, you know, everybody needs to hear what she has to say. Oh, man. I'm disappointed that I didn't share that. It's something I want to hear because it is it is something that I think um, just by you putting yourself out there and existing, I mean, that's a form of, you know, activism in a sense because we are very ignorant. People are, it's, it's, Society is very ignorant to, to deaf people, and it's not a society that was built around, you know, any any other disabilities as well. And I feel like we all could learn something. And just by you speaking your truth and calling us out on our ignorance, I feel like that is super important. So you are an inspiration, and I absolutely love you. And I'm so sad they didn't show that about Anna Paulette. What the hell? Editing. <laughs> Yeah, I do hope that maybe one day she'll be able to share her own story and thoughts um, because it was it was incredibly strong, you know, and it's not necessarily something that I can repeat because it's her words and they, it was beautiful. Right. You know, I'll reach out to her. I'll, ha I'll have her on. I'll have her on in one of the episodes. Thanks for letting me know because I wasn't there. So I'm, I'm excited to catch up on that one. Thank you. Um, before before we go though, I don't want to end it here. We are going to watch. Oh no, Ruth is frozen. <laughs> okay, so we had some technical difficulties. My bad. I don't know exactly where we left off. Um, I know the lovely Michelle was speaking about um, this very important episode. So. I just wanted to thank you so much. And are there any closing thoughts that you would like to add about um, just basically the last scene that we saw and everything before we jump into the bonus clip? Hmm. You know, I'd love to take the time to thank Nicole. Um, for you know, providing me the space to express myself and open up and share in a difficult moment. Uh, and it's incredibly important that the world hears this. And you know, I do just hope that whenever you watch the episode, that you'll have some empathy and a soft heart and that maybe you can learn from it. Um, and from the process, and you can learn ASL, and or you know, just don't be afraid to date a you know a, a deaf girl, a deaf lesbian, or whatever. Don't be afraid. Yes. Yeah, you got to be open-minded, and you can figure it out together. You can be creative, but don't be afraid. Mm -hmm. And you know, listen to us about our accessibility needs, about captioning, about interpreters. Don't just totally dismiss us and think it's no big deal. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We need to learn to listen with our heart and our mind. And you taught me that. And I love you so much. I love you too. You know, I wish I was there. I wish I could I could get there. I'd love to visit you, give you a hug. Yes, please. I'll, or I'll visit you, but we need to do a reunion. I want to see all of your faces. 
I miss hugging you and Annabelle. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, absolutely. All right. You know, and in the hot tub, too. Mm. I never got to go in the hot tub. I am so mad about it. <laughs> wait, it's wait. It's funny. I want to know your experience in the hot tub. Really quick, really quick. I would be remiss if I didn't ask. My experience. <laughs> Well, huh. I do love hot tubs. Um, yeah, always. Oh, no, oh, now you're being shy. <laughs> fine, fine. I won't push. I won't push. We'll talk about this off air. <laughs> well, well we're, we are going to get started now with the bonus clip. Are you ready for this bonus clip? Let's go. Ooh. <laughs> pretty well and um, she just really kind of knocked me off my feet a little bit. We are all so sorry. We want you to be here and we want to connect. You are beautiful. And yes, I uh, I did have butterflies for her. Yeah. Okay. Hey, how's the mat? No. 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 <laughs> no. no. You're She's beautiful. Like my... <laughs> yes. no. We stayed close. After filming, and I had asked for my Valentine, <laughs> and um, eventually admitted how I felt. But unfortunately, it was not reciprocated. So that was uh, unfortunately kind of that. Okay. That was difficult to watch. I want to ask you, what happened with House Cat? It seemed like she really liked you. Mm. I was honestly shocked when she opened up of her feelings, especially on screen. And I, you know, just with the show and everything, I, you know, like we, we had talked a little bit, you know, kind of brief chats and I was doing that with everyone, you know, finally figuring out the connections. I had no idea of her feelings towards me. And apparently her feelings started as soon as I got into the house. Yeah, so she that's what she had told me. And I had absolutely no idea. So when I you know, when she expressed herself, I, I had understanding and I was watching all of the episodes and I did catch some of her eye gaze toward me that was actually on screen. And I was trying to figure out like the puzzle of her feelings of her heart of like, you know, we are human. We are allowed to have our feelings and express them. That's natural. And I want to commend her for that. Um, I would love to commend Housecat for that. You know, Shelly, she, she, her bravery for her bravery and for her vulnerability and her expressing her feelings. So I do want to say thank you for that because so often people don't take that chance to share their feelings. Um, and, you know, I just want to thank for that because it just doesn't happen very often. And you might not even know, you know, that somebody likes me. It, that I don't know that often. So that's just the way life goes. So I really want to commend her for her feelings. And, you know, regardless of how I feel for her, since it's, it's not the same, but I do care for her. And I have a lot of love for her as a friend. And, you know, I'll always hold her near and dear to my heart. Um, I know that she had wrote a film script for me. Um, I mean, not, not for me, but a role for me um, in the production. Um, and Madison as well, who would be my wife. Mm -hmm. So could you imagine that? Me and Madison? Hot. Being married like hot. that? Hot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 the vagina side, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, 
you know, I I absolutely support Shelly, and I would love to connect her with all of my filmmaking friends and have that relationship, you know, where we could have like a table read or, you know, do something on Zoom. I would think that would be beautiful. It's a beautiful script. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I was so excited to be able to work hard and looking forward to making this film finally. And then a few weeks after that moment, that was when she had expressed her feelings towards me and my feelings were not reciprocated. So her feelings were not reciprocated by me. So it was just like, she decided to unfriend me and completely disappear, just dropped off the face of the earth. So I did text her a year later, you know, hoping that maybe she had processed her feelings and that we could be friends because I, I want to be her friend. I want to see her succeed. And, you know, there's just been silence. Wow. Ghosted, just no, no response. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah. And Nicole had mentioned that um, she felt hard for me. Mm. And yeah, so I, I hope she's doing well. I hope that she continues to write. And, uh, you know, if she I heard she wrote a poem about me, I'd love to read it. No. <laughs> It seems like your door is open and you're open to a friendship. And I I hope at the end of the day, we all stayed in touch and stayed friends. So I hope that she would reconsider someday and you guys can rekindle your friendship. I, you know, it's all love here. Crushes happen, I'm just saying. But it's unfortunate. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. You know, I'm still, oh yeah, I think she's still a little heartbroken from it, so that's unfortunate. Yeah. And, you know, I, and I lost a good friend. Yeah. And I'm sure that's going to take time. Time will heal everything. But thank you so much for speaking out on this <laughs> and then also on previous topics. I just really appreciate your time and your presence and your patience and educating all our ignorant asses. And I'm just happy that you were here and speaking your truth. And I love you so much. Love you. Thank you. Thank you too, Ruth. Yeah. For interviewing. You're amazing. You are both amazing. Thank you so much for coming on. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. Love y'all. We'll keep in touch. Hasta luego.